Alrighty. That's one well to stand by any indicator set to compass, which is two nine or zero. Level and altimeter to three zero. Okay, we are ready to taxi. Blackhawk Ground, Cessna 6301 Delta at Elliot, over ready to taxi with Juliet, uh, West Departure BFR. 6301 Delta Flying Cloud, ground, runway 10 left, taxi, taxi Alpha, cross runway 18. Uh, taxi to 10 left, uh, with via Alpha, cross 18, Delta. Checking brakes, brake works. Delta, there will be an archer going into Thunderbird. Give way to him. Uh, Roger, zero one Delta. Uh, can't really see a way to get around this. So. So he ended up yielding to us then. Because we were on the runway and we don't want to... Um, stay on the runway to yield way to him. When I say uh, uh, a sterile cockpit, it doesn't mean you can't say a word. It's just uh, no unrela unrelated questions to the flight. Oh, okay, yeah. So this is the runway that we're using? Uh, taxiway and the runway. Okay. We're using one zero left, which is here, here right now. And we're here before takeoff. 
Brake set. Go. Apply the instruments. We check them before and flight controls. Elevator on top. Elevator up. Alright. Rotor trim to neutral. Elevator trim to neutral. Make sure full ridge. Primer is off. Grotto to 17 hectare. Got suction in the green. Checking for car heat drop. We got our car heat drop. This is our RPM. Alright, and magneto drop, left magneto, at about 75, right magneto, 75 again, okay, and ammeter is zero or positive, now with our car heat on, throttle all the way back, are still running. Ground. This is Archer 9R2505 at Foxtrot, ready to go around for another. Archer 9R2505, runway 108, taxi, take the Bravo. That's fine, Archer 9 Bravo, Archer 9R2505. Alright, so we're gonna take off 10 left. We're gonna have a crosswind from the right. Uh, 1900 is our pageant altitude. Ready to go. Ground this is Warrior 6879 Charm. This is my uh, clock alarm or watch alarm. Do you wait for the go ahead for them? Yeah, I, I'm gonna call them now. One call tower Cessna 6301 Delta holding short 10 left. We're ready to go. Cessna 6301 Delta Flying Cloud Tower, left turn to the west is approved. Runway 10 left, clear for takeoff. On the left, clear for takeoff, uh, left turn approved, 010. Archer 4015, Julian, no traffic observed to the southier position. Actually, traffic uh, about 6 southwest of your position. Altitude indicates 2100, appears northbound, type unknown. Be looking for traffic 152, yes. Yeah. Archer 15, Julian traffic should be no factor. Frequent change is approved. Have a good day. Thank you. Have a good day. Archer 15, Julian. Airspeed alive. Fifty five knots. Positive climb. Flying Cloud Tower, this is Archer 9R2505, ready to go on 10 right. Archer 92505, Flying Cloud Tower, make right traffic, runway 10 right, clear for takeoff. 10 right, cleared for takeoff, Archer 9R2505. There's the airport. Oh yeah. So now we're turning west. Yep, and now we're turning north. We're north. Okay. I'll make another turn to the west.
uh, should have wiped off all the bugs that we have on the windshield. To get a better view. Tower Mustang, 1751 Delta, 10 left, ready to go. See really well out here. 1751 Delta flying cloud tower, left, really well here. Runway 10 left, clear for takeoff. Clear to go, 10 left for uh, 51 Delta. Bonanza 6137 Victor, 7 South East. Bonanza 6137 Victor, Flying Cloud Tower, for midfield, right downwind, runway 10 right. You ever get scared? Midfield, right downwind, What's that? You ever get scared? Right, 37 Victor. Uh, no. Victor 505, runway 10 right, right, cleared for the option. Scared of what? 10 right, cleared for like, the option. Have you ever had a, like a moment where you where a wind gust has hit you or you ran into weather or anything like that? Uh. There have been a one time, uh, it's, uh, the, a thunderstorm was closing in at night. Okay. And the availability is going bad quicker than that. Dog. But we get around that, that huge chunk of thunderstorm okay. and came back here. I think that, that was the only time I was feeling a little bit nervous. Does Nina ever get scared? She was asleep at that time. <laughs> And they would have Lake Minnetonka. Yeah. There's the temple, the Ekinkar temple. Have yeah. you ever seen that with the gold roof? Yeah. What temple? It's like, uh, like Scientology. Oh, really? Yeah, right there. That's what that big building is. I, I couldn't see it. Uh, That's uh, Excelsior right there. Yeah. I like flying at this altitude because you can s you can see more than if it's yeah. you know when you're in it a is. That you can't really see me out in. The 3-7 Victor disregard your report. I have you in sight. Number two calling an archer on about a three-quarter mile final. Runway one to right, clear plan. Can I turn this? It's a okay, little bit cold for, for me. Land, oh, yeah. Right, three, seven, six, six. Do you remember to look for traffic? I'm looking. Hey. I don't, do you see anything? No. I don't see anything either. Do you see how if you look forward, do you see how we're pointing this way? Yeah. Or we're actually flying this way. Oh, it's because of the crosswind? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So that's why it's not a big deal if there's wind as long as it's not gusty? No, if even if it's gusty, if you're up in the air, it doesn't matter. Okay. The only time it matters is when you are trying to land or take off. How do you know if they're trying to get a hold of you? I'm listening. Oh, okay. Yeah. But uh, at this point, we don't even know. We are about 10 miles out from the airport. Yeah. So it doesn't, it's becoming less and less relevant for us. Okay. Would, you, would you then pick up on another airport if you, were, if you went far enough? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, especially so if I intend to land there. Yeah. Again, the runway, hold short, runway, one zero left, traffic landing. 
holding short, one zero left, Archer, nine or two five zero five. Lieutenant four six seven two zero flying cloud at tower. When we want your right clear for takeoff, right turn is approved. Traffic is a bonanza at about a three mile final. Seven two zero for takeoff one zero right right turn is approved. Bonanza seven seven zero disregard your report. Runway one zero right clear to land. I need some more altitude. We're climbing. We're climbing for uh, more altitude. Uh, do they want you to have more altitude? No, we want to have as much as altitude as as possible. Oh really? It's safer that way. Okay. You have more time. But back here, you see that green lines over there? Yeah. Right here is con controlled area, here too, so you can't go above a certain altitude. You'll be in the another airspace that's mostly for the commercial airline. Which, which one's that, this green arc? This, this green arc in here and here, uh, all, the, all the areas in here, they're controlled airspace. So is this, is this another plane? That's another uh, airport. Oh, okay. It's a small one though. So what, what are these two lines right here? They are the sectors of the... They're like the boundaries of the airspace. Oh, so you don't want to go outside these two either? I, I do. Oh, uh, you do? They, they... Above a certain altitude, it's for commercial airlines and we need permission to go in that. Does that make sense? Oh, like this one and this one? Yeah. Okay. If you look on here, Heading right here says 160, yeah. and this this area here is 170. Okay. That means if we go above 6,000, then we need permission to go. Oh, okay. To be there. Ah, you can see the thunderstorm building. I think it's coming that way. Yeah. It's all dirt roads below now. What's that? It's all dirt roads below. Yeah. That's the Lake Waconia. Oh yeah, okay. Turning off pressure, landing light off. We got uh, Painting the picture. The engine may go rough. Go rough? Yep. What does that mean? Alright, there we go. Did you feel it? No. Um, we are leading the mixture so it's not putting too much fuel into the engine yeah. for cruise. But you want a, a full mixture, rich fuel for takeoff and landing. Okay. So as, as I'm leaning it, the engine gets less and less fuel, so it, it, it's going rough, and then when I see that, I push it back. Oh, based on RPMs? Yep, yep. Okay. And sometimes passengers, they, they get scared if they don't know and the engine is going rough. Oh. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good heads up to... As long as our nose doesn't start pointing down, I think I'm okay. No. <laughs> okay. Left up, power for cruise, make sure it's clean. By standing that off, fuel level is normal and the instruments are normal. Okay, so here is our airspeed. Yeah. Okay. Right here is our altimeter. That's, we're at 3,500. Oh, okay. So, this one is thousand, this one hundred. Yep. And we're heading west. Yep. And we're nor we're we're not climbing nor we're descending. Our vertical speed is zero. Okay. okay. So this one, this one, this one, this one. How, how is uh how is knots converted to miles per hour? Uh, oh it's right there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So about 110, 110 okay. miles per hour now. Alright, we're a little too high, we're going to go down to 3,500.
And you know how yoke works, right? You push down, the plane goes yeah, down. Yeah. You pull up, it goes up. So, is this the wind speed coming at you? No, that's uh, navigation. Oh, okay. We don't know wind speed, because as long as we're in the air, we're one with the wind. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's cool. To look at those clouds. Yeah, yeah. Us. Did the clouds usually stay above you? Uh, yeah. You can go above the clouds, but right now, since the uh, they're getting more and more clouds, we don't want to do that. Yeah. If we get trapped above the clouds, then that's an emergency. <laughs> so as the clouds come in, you have to adjust your altitude to stay below them. Yeah. Okay. It's really hazy today. Not cloud, but it's hazy. Yeah. All the moisture. The, re the reason I did uh, two slide turns is yeah. to check for traffic. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if, if there's On someone behind us, we'll, we'll see them. Yeah. Did the, uh, did the commercial passenger air pilots, did they actually have to visibly look for traffic or is that going to show up on a radar? Oh, they have nice radar, but uh, uh, legally they're, they're obliged to look for traffic in any way possible. But you never know. Sometimes they read magazines. Sometimes they take a nap. It happens. <laughs> have you ever taken someone up that was afraid of flying? Yeah. Really? Who was it? Uh, my aunt. Okay. Yeah. She. She's not really a big fan of flying. So, what was she afraid of? Just small planes in general, I guess. She's even afraid to take the air then, so... Yeah. I don't know why, why she ended up afraid of dying with me. Yeah. <laughs> you want to take control? Yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, alright, you have the controls. Have control. You have the controls. Try to just maintain straight on level flight. Okay. Uh, they're doing pretty good. The pedals then? The pedals do... Uh, they do the yaw. So unless you're turning, you normally don't want to use that. Okay. When you turn, you want to do a, a, a little of the rudder. That's called the rudder. To help you initiate your turn. Now we're climbing. Okay, now we're 3,600. Okay. So what do we want to do, go up? No, we want to go down. We're on 3,500. We're 100 feet too high. And straight on level means we want to keep our, our, our heading uh, consistent too. Okay. So I, I was heading west that way. Okay. And now we're at southwest. West, southwest. Yep. So if I push the left pedal, it's going to turn us right, correct? No, oh. uh, you, you want to do the same thing. Right pedal, right aileron. Okay, here we go. And right, now we're too high again. On descent. Descent by 100 feet.
Little more, almost there. 50 feet to go. Alright, we're almost there. That's perfect. Alright, now straight and level. That's great. We're aiming to get a feel of the airplane, so let's rely on this. It's, okay. it's better. You don't want to rely on this all the time. Now can we turn a right to a north heading? A little bit more banking is okay too. Oh, this is west. Can we turn north? Oh. Out here is really easy with Minnesota. All, all the roads are lined up northwest. Yeah, west. So, so you can see on the ground which way is north. In the mountain area, not so much. That's good. Don't don't be afraid to push it down. Sometimes you need to. A lot of the, the uh, first time guys' mistake is they always try to climb, climb, climb. Just try to maintain your altitude. And then. So, okay, I, yeah. see, I see the... Okay, now we're going 3,400 now. Little too low. I want to keep 3,500 at all times. There we go. You're doing really good. Thanks. Yeah. Can I do a, a left turn? Yeah. A 180 to south heading? Coming on nicely. No, I mean, uh, you're doing really, really good. Thanks. You're, you're my best passenger driver so far. <laughs> cool. We do have a, a little altitude deviant at the end of the turn, but other than that, it's, it's good. And you know the, uh, when to see it and correct for it, yeah. so that's good. And you don't want to keep, you know, too tight of a grip, yeah. white knuckles. That's what I've been doing. No, <laughs> you just relax because uh, try to try to just release pressure and let go, and you okay. see what happens. Just let go. Yeah. Just let go. It doesn't suddenly change anything. Okay. It's like driving, so you do very slight pressure. It's about finesse. Fair. Let me listen to the weather one more time. Contact, but you have information, Juliet. Okay, still Juliet. What's Juliet? Uh, they have a. So that's NATO alphabetic phonetic. 
Okay. Uh, each letter ha has a has a word, so you don't you don't mix them. So what's Juliet? Juliet is J. Okay. Letter J. And their weather are updated and numbered on on the on those letters. So the next one will be kilo. K. What's kilo? What are we? Uh, the weather information we have is Juliet, it's J. Okay. If they want to update the weather, they will say information kilo. Oh, okay. And the next one will be Lima, and then uh, Mike, and then November, so on and so forth. Okay. So we gotta wait till they come back around for Juliet. What's that? We gotta wait till they come back around for Juliet. No, uh, as I hear Juliet, I know uh, it doesn't change because that's what I heard when we were on the ground. Oh, I see. So the weather is the same. I don't need to hear the rest of the wind or anything. Okay. I know it's the same. Can we try to climb to uh, uh, 4,000? 4,000? Yep. Okay. Is there, a, is there a method to climbing? What's that? Do you want to climb at a certain rate or? Uh, yeah, I mean, right, right above here is fine. Uh, you, you, you can keep your eye on this from okay. time to time, but don't be too focused on it. Okay. I mean, about 500 feet per minute is fine. Okay. So we were at 3,500, and if we're climbing at 500 per feet, we're going to be there exactly in one minute. Here is your throttle. Usually, when you climb, use it. Push it, push it, push it. Opens the throttle. Does that mean you're going faster? Uh, it means you have more power. Oh, okay. Yeah. And now we're here. Yeah. Did you see how when I push the power yeah. here, you just go automatically climb? Okay. So actually, your throttle controls in the long run. Your throttle controls your uh, altitude, okay. and your uh, your uh, your yoke controls your uh, climbing, or that's called your elevator controls your uh, speed. Actually, okay. That's very very nice. What what's the highest that this plane could fly? Uh, around eleven thousand feet. Oh, okay. Depends on the temperature and your weight. So if I lost some weight, next time we could go a little higher? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so we're right above Lincoln Airport. Oh, okay. It should be somewhere over there. I can't really see it. You should, though. How would you, see, how would you know it? it was there? It's on the GPS. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I see the. Yeah, you line. saw it. Nice, yeah. nice. That's uh, that's good visual work. Okay. There's a plane right now. Ready? Yeah. It looks like it might be. Is it taking off? I can't tell. Here, I'll I'll turn this way. Maybe you'll be able to see it. Yeah, I think it's taking off. But what should we do? No, we're we're. We're no concern of him. Okay. His pattern altitude is uh, 2,000 feet below us. Oh, that's all he's flying? Only two th Maybe he's a crop duster. No, no, no. I, I mean, when he's around the airport like we were. Oh, okay. He, he's only going to stick at 2,000 feet. Okay. And then later on, when he, when he gets far away from us, he's turned around. He'll fly. Yeah. Turned around, so maybe. But uh, yeah, if we want to, we can uh, listen to their uh, frequency and see what's going on.
Amy Traffic, this is Duke 33 Limo Bravo. We just lifted off near Richmond. We'll be in there in about five minutes. We're about uh, seven miles southwest. All right, you want to do a left turn to the east? Oh, no, 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 too much banking. Oh, okay. Once you get that banking angle, you want to, your yoke straight yeah. to hold that attitude. Usually you wanna you you plane. Traffic. This is two three three number about. Uh, man, this is too loud. You want your wings and your horizon to be somewhere like a thirty degree angle. Yeah. But it really depends on your speed. All right. Uh, you wanna give me the control? I can show you some of the other stuff. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah. What do I say? You have control. I have control. You have control. I have control. Okay. Let's go traffic, Murray, one five zero. Good, turning down wind now for one three. Let's go. Okay, right here is your turn coordinator. Okay, it tells you how much or how fast you're turning. It has nothing to do with your bank. It's just how much your heading is changing. Okay. So if I were to turn left now, this is a little distracting. I have to turn left now at a speed of around 90 knots. Yeah. This is going to be my banking angle. And you can see I have a, a turning rate of uh, standard. This is called standard, the marking here. That's where you want to be? Yeah, okay. uh, more or less. So that's, uh, I'm doing two minute turn. That means in exactly two minutes, I'm going to be turning a full 360. And see what happens if I uh, if I'm flying slow. Harder to control when you're going slower. Yep, yeah. exactly. You get it. So now, if I'm to turn right, okay. I only need a, a really small bank angle, and we're turning at standard rate. This is way less than the bank angle we did before. Yeah. And when you're flying slow, you are a uh, uh, little more sus, sus... How do you say that? Sensible? Yeah, for uh, changes, control errors, and okay. all that. Wow. So mostly you want to fly fast and high. Airspeed and altitude is always your friend. Okay. No, I, I did a left 90 degree and then a 180 to south. Oh, okay. So that's the Glencoe Airport, and that's another airport right yep. there. Uh, this one with the with the white line, it's a paved runway. The one without, it's just dirt. Oh, really? Yeah, it's grass or dirt. But you can land there? Yeah. Have you ever landed on grass before? Uh, yeah. Is it harder? You just have to keep your nose up. Okay. At all times. You don't want to dig your nose in and then the flip flips over. <laughs> That'll be bad.
What would happen if like a uh, plane got damaged when you're flying it? Would you have, do you have insurance? Yeah. Okay. Uh, if it, if it's damaged when I'm in the air, I'm more concerned about my life. But that usually don't happen. All right. So next thing I'm gonna show is uh, is called uh, kite or steep turn. Okay. So we're we're going fast and we're using a lot more bank angle to make that turn. You ready? Yep. All right. Did you see any traffic? No traffic. All right. Okay, we're gonna do a left steep turn first. That was uh, 360. That was cool. Or back at SL. Let's, let's do a barrel roll next. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't do that on a small airplane <laughs> like this. All right, to the right. Okay. You wanna take the control and head back? Yeah. All right. Let me uh, put flying cloud in. You have controls. I have control. You have control. Now I want to follow this line, so we're going to turn to more or less east heading. I want to maintain 4,000 even altitude. Let's back down here a little bit. Try to get used to use one hand to control. Okay. So that your other hand can be on the throttle when you need. Yeah. Now, can we descend back to uh, uh, 3,500? Yeah. I want to uh, lose the throttle, uh, close the throttle a little bit, so we don't go over speed. No, oh, close means back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. No, that's fine. And you want to uh, keep that line straight. Okay. You don't want to descend too fast. In itself, it's not bad thing. It's just kind of uncomfortable feeling. Your ears pop. Yeah, we have plenty of time to go back to that altitude.
that good for the throttle? What's that? Throttle good now? Uh, yeah, you can check your RPM. Usually you want to, uh, if you want to keep straight on double, you want to keep at 2300. Okay. Tag edition, U Cloud 7000. Temperature 18, U.12, altimeter 3009. Visual approach is on U Slendy, runway 10 right and 10 left. Advise on the contact that you have information, Juliet. Okay, still Juliet. And we're 70. We got Juliet. 17.7 miles out. Wind 14014. Okay. Sky condition, U Cloud 7000. Temperature 18. 2.12, altimeter 3009. I want to keep that line dead on straight, so we don't, we don't want to. Yeah, a little bit to the left. Contact that you have information, Juliet. How's it going? Because we're already, Juliet, one, three, we're already five, three, descending two. through it. Can we make it 3000 even now? Since we're getting closer and closer yeah. to the airport. And now with the throttle, you need to. Because if you just pitch it down, what happens is you go over speed okay. and you have to hold it really hard to descend. That's very, very nice. Don't worry about that. Just turbulence as we get close to the ground. Okay. The air is more smooth up there than closer to the ground. The other thing we get to practice a lot when we're training is stalls. Oh yeah? Yeah. I don't know if you're interested in seeing that. If, if I would like to see you do it. Yeah. Sure. I have controls. You have control. I have controls. Alright. I'll make sure there's nobody around us. Put traffic here. Did you see we lost the uh, uh, the uh, lift suddenly? Yeah. Or did you feel it? Yeah. And that sound was a warning, of the stall warning. Oh, okay. So, you, so practicing a stall is waiting for that stall warning to happen and then... No, you, you, you're going to feel it. And the stall warning is going to sound, but if it doesn't sound, you're going to feel it. Okay. The plane doesn't have lift it anymore. Yeah. And at that, that point... It's to go down. Yep. Yeah. And at that point, you want to have full power as much power as you can and just dive because you want speed okay and then when you get speed that's when you lift up okay all right now back to you I you have the controls i have control you have control we want to be at four thousand or uh three thousand three thousand right? yes okay and i'm gonna okay in a little while i'm gonna go ahead and call them okay You don't want to try to correct for the turbulence. Oh, you they're, don't? They're temporary. Okay. If they just go, uh, and then you're back to where you were. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm just a call them, so I'm not taking control. Oh, no, that's okay. 
Blackout RSF uh, 6301 Delta, 11 miles out to the west, in front of that with Juliet. Reported two mile final, runway one zero eight. One zero eight, report two final, straight in zero one delta. This is zero one delta, are you at three thousand one hundred? Uh, affirmative, zero one, uh, zero one delta. This is zero one delta, Roger, thanks. Jabiru 62, Juliet, runway one zero left, cleared for the option. Runway one, one zero left, cleared for the option. That guy sounds sleepy. All right, uh, can we descend to 2,500? <laughs> Before let me check this, we have the weather. We have arrival information, we made our radio call, our field selector is both, rudder trim to neutral, make sure full ridge, primer in unlock, landing light is on, RP, we need to be on, and we're all done. Runway 10 left, clear to the option. Very nice, runway 10 left. That was great descent. Now back to uh, 2,500 then. Did you see the airport? No. I think it's over there, that empty field over there. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Now, can we, can we turn to uh, the heading of downtown? Yeah. Because we're doing straight in, we'll line up the, with the runway before we get to the airport. Oh, sure. So if you're just going to head straight for downtown, that's great. Runway one zero right, clear for the option, make a right traffic on the go. Zero right, right traffic, three two is here. That's perfect. I want to do uh, 2000 even. That's where you're reaching for the throttle. And keep it keep your level of flight. You don't want to descend too fast. Yeah, just a little bit, little by little, we're, we'll get there eventually. I still want to keep the heading of downtown. That's very nice approach. Uh, I can take a control. Bonanza 3-7-Victor, runway 1-0-left, line up a lane. Line up a lane, 1-0-left, 3 7 Victor. Oh, you, you did great. Yeah. That was fun. I was almost thinking of that you uh, done this thing. Flying Cock Tower, Archer 437, in November, 8 miles northwest, inbound, full stop landing with Juliet. Archer 4370, November, Flying Cloud Tower, report 2 mile left base, runway 1 0 left. There's Chaska High School. Yeah. Wow, you recognize everything. I know the logo. Yeah. So we played them in sports growing up. Okay, yeah. We are, we are pretty close to the ground, so you can see all the water towers and city names and all that. And it's a 3 7 Victor traffic on up one is a Jabiru in left closed traffic. Do you have them in sight? I do, 3 7 Victor. And it's a 3 7 Victor fly runway heading for now, runway 1 0 left, clear for takeoff. Alright, now we want to uh, keep our uh, talking minimum. We're very close to standing. Okay. There we have it. Yes. Can I record it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Go ahead. I just wish uh, we had a wiped up the windshield.
Delta 37 Victor, white turn is approved. 37 Victor. Subaru 62 Julia, runway 10 left, cleared for the option. Runway 10 left, cleared for the option. 62 Julia. Seven Victor, contact Minneapolis departure. Contact departure, three seven Victor. This is zero one Delta, disregard your report. Runway one zero right, cleared to land. One zero right, cleared to land, zero one Delta. Sierra number two following a Cessna on a half mile final, runway one zero right cleared for the option. Two Sierra number two following a Cessna cleared for the option. One zero right. Okay, for three two Sierra, then just verify again the landing runway, runway one zero right with your call sign. Two Sierra one zero right. Right, thanks. Flying Cloud Tower, hold short, runway 18. Short, 18, Captain. Continue on up one. We're going to be changing to runway 18 as our active runway. Wind 160 at 13, gust 17. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. we'll continue up wind and then what? We're going to be in left traffic in right. for 18. Jebru 62 Juliet, affirmative. Okay, 62 Juliet. Cessna 01 Delta, cross runway 10 left, then contact ground. Cross on your left, contact ground, 0 Delta. Archer 70 November, runway 10 left, cleared to land. And wind 160 at 13, gust 17. If you do prefer runway 18, that is available. Or the 10 left, cleared to land, 70 November. Archer 70 November, Roger. Cat 2150, runway 18, line up on way. Traffic is a helicopter landing, runway 10 right. Line up and wait uh, on 18, uh, Cat 2150. Flank of ground, Cessna 6 around Delta, holding short of uh, Alpha, what, Alpha Golf, uh, ready to taxi to in flight. Cessna 6 one Delta, flank of ground, taxi east on Alpha, hold short of runway 18. East on Alpha, hold short 18, zero on Delta. Gonna try steering the airplane? With your feet? Sure. Yeah, go ahead. You wanna uh, push on, on the lower part of the pedal. Okay. The left? A little bit more. The responsive, there, uh, there is a delay to the res uh, re response of the 
the rudder. Very nice. As long as we're ground, this doesn't matter. That's oh, okay. aileron. That's our wings. Fair. And when, when I turn it this way, just because we have a crosswind, if I turn it this way, there's less chance we're going to be blown and flip over by the wind. Good morning, Graham. Station okay. 72760 at Thunderbird with Julia. Like we like to get them, VFR flight follow following for a photo mission over you clear, Wisconsin. They don't want to keep doing yeah, that all the time. The okay. On Thunderbird ramp, but Momentarily, I'll have the uh, slope very shortly. You want to settle yeah, down to like a feed position where it'll keep us straight, if that's possible. That's better. Okay, tower or uh, ground told us to hold short of one eight. You want to just go straight and. If, when you see that sign, 1A36, we don't want to go past that sign. Okay. And oh. we want to we want to stay on the center line, the yellow line. Oh, okay. I was and thinking I was driving. Yeah, when I told you to apply brakes, you, you want to brake with both break? with the tip, with the tip. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. No, we want to go this way. Want to go this way? All right. No, nope, to the left. We want to stay on the center line. Flight Archer 4370 November Alpha 3. Yeah, Alright, now we hold here. I come full stop. Great. We're waiting for that guy to take off. Flight Go ahead and take the Thunderbird ramp. Thunderbird ramp, Archer 70 November. Remember 76 Zulu, I do have that code. 76 Zulu is ready, copy. Number 76 Zulu, uh, just remain outside the Minneapolis Bravo airspace until given permission to enter. Departure frequency will be 134.7, block 45. This is a helicopter traffic over there. And you can now taxi oh, wow. to runway 18 via Alpha. Alright, 18 via Alpha, remain outside the class Bravo until cleared. Departure 134.7, squawk 4574, stationary 72760. Everyone, Delta, haven't forgot about you, just continue holding short for landing traffic. Delta. Did you hear that? Oh, there's another plane. Oh, uh, 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 six five zero four five. Oh, uh, got a hit picture. Lane uh, northbound yeah. with uh, kilo. Oh, wow! Bad crosswind. This is six five zero four five. Blind cloud to ground. Runway one eight. Taxi via Alpha. Runway one eight via Alpha zero four five. <laughs> Number zero one Delta, go ahead and cross runway one eight on Alpha Tech to Elliot. Uh, Alpha to Elliot zero one Delta, cross one eight. All right, you wanna keep steering the airplane? Sure. Stay on center line. Perfect. Go this way. Very nice. Oh, oh center line. Cool. I will take the control. I have control. I have control. Charger Mission Kilo Current, flying cloud altimeter 3008, runway 18, use this time. Alright, now we're gonna 
go through our shutdown or after landing flaps up, trim to neutral, transponder to standby, it already did that. And after landing checklist is complete, shutdown. Avionic master off. feel safer in the, in a smaller plane for some reason. Really? Yeah. Maybe because you're closer to the ground or something. And you're, you're not going as fast. Yeah. And uh, with a small airplane, you get better glide. Yeah. Even if your engine goes out, you're not a big chunk of metal. Sure. Sure. Down by gravity only. It's lighter. Maybe you just feel like you are in control, so that's it yeah, too. Yeah. <laughs> Especially what you told me about pilots are taking naps and stuff. Yeah, that's, they do that. Because everything in the big fancy airline, everything is automated. Yeah. And they have the, the luxury to do that. Is that crazy? You strap that to your leg, huh? Yep. Oh, you did? Yeah, and they're like 70 in total. And, and you like them better? Yeah, it's this is it, it get hot and yeah. uncomfortable. But uh, yeah, it's a big money grab. Everything <laughs> aviation related is so expensive.
Oh, okay. Oh, oh sure. Really? Have yeah. you seen that before? I didn't see that with my eyes, but it's just <laughs> <laughs> 